<laughs> Did you miss the monkey bars? Yeah. She picked right up. I'm, I'll am i watch. Go show me. Hey, Rock Turd. What are you doing this morning? Princess Star, they're all just playing hard. Those are monkey bars. He can't quite do them himself yet, but he's working on it. All right, let's see it. She hasn't done these all summer, and she is super proud that she's still got it. Good job, honey. Okay, do the other one. <laughs> Do the other ones. Let's see it. Lila, go on these ones. Nice. Good job. You haven't missed a beat. You'll be skipping them as soon as we're... I don't know. It's too early. <laughs> words, words don't work this early. One thing that the kids are super excited about this year is Princess Tart actually has two of her best friends in her class, and so does Baby Tart, so it's working out perfectly. You have two of your best friends in your class. The two that you loved the most last year are in your class this year, and the same with Baby Tart. Two of her, of her favorite friends are in her class. Wow, good job, dude. You did it! He's growing too. Last year I had to help him with that. Okie dokie, so I'm here on the beach. I'm going to get myself a beach run in, and then I have to run home and pack and fly to Australia. I'm coming down under. I'm not gonna throw another shrimp on the bobby, mate. Another one of my bad accents. So one thing that I love to do is because if you know how LAX, the airport here in Los Angeles is situated, a majority of the planes take off over the ocean. So as you're leaving LAX, you like fly over the ocean and you see this beach right here. You can look up and see like the Santa Monica Pier and this whole strand. This is like right where I've lost all my weight where I always come for the last four years and go running. So every time I leave Los Angeles, I like to come on one last beach run before before I leave because it's, I don't know, it's like, it's my baby. This is where I lost my way. I will forever, eternally be connected to the sand and the water right here on Venice Beach. And one of my favorite things to do as the plane leaves LAX and is flying over the Pacific Ocean, I like to look down and think, I've run up and down that beach hundreds of times. So uh, I'm gonna go do it again right now. Let's go. Okay, pirate, are you ready? Yeah. We got this pirate ship tent that Grandma gave him a long, long time ago. And we just found it, packed up with all our stuff. What? <laughs> Is that a pirate ship sword? Hmm, I don't know. We'll think about it. Once we get this tent up, you'll be able to Superman. tell, huh? Yeah, it's Superman. Okay, cool. Let's put this tent up. Are you ready? Superman sword thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I wouldn't mess with you. Okay, is this the coolest thing ever? Yes. Rotred, what do you think? Put your head out right here. Right here. Come look out. Come look out. No, right here. Come look out right here. Come look out. <laughs> Hargy mateys. <laughs> You're the cutest pirate in the whole world. I love it. Do you like it? Say hey, thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> You're the cutest thing in the world. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for saying thank you. Okay, now say. Now you gotta go arg like a pirate. Okay. Go arg. <laughs> I love it. Can we come inside too? We want to come inside. Hi, we're in the pirate. Mom. Yeah. I do want to come in there with you. I'm not sure if I'll fit. Let's try it. Okay, we're going inside the pirate ship. Oh no, I'm, I'm knocking over the pirate ship. <laughs> Mom's kind of big for the pirate ship. Oh, yeah. Zeke wants to come in the pirate ship too. Oh, oh, hi. Hi, do you want to come in the pirate ship? No. <laughs> no, you're going to rip it. You can't come in the pirate ship. I'm sorry, you're not invited to the pirate ship. No, no. <laughs> oh, we have a dragon. A dragon's trying to obtain our ship. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, I'm Mama. getting claustrophobic already. It's time to get out. No, Zeke. You're going to ruin it. So now I'm all finished and I'm all sweaty. And they're shooting a movie right here with Helen Hunt. Oh, she's right in that car. 
You can't see it. Helen Hunt's right in that car. Mad about you, Helen Hunt? I just had to make them stop shooting because I had to pull my truck through there. That's cool. They're always shooting something down here. I asked the guy because he stopped me. He's like, you just got to wait for a minute. They're doing a shot right now. So I was just teasing with him. I said, so who's over there? Tom Cruise? And he said, no, Helen Hunt. And I was like, oh, cool. I just could see her. You couldn't really see it because those windows were blacked out. That's the cool thing about living down here in LA, Venice area is they're always shooting something like commercial, TV show. You can always tell it by these big gaffer trucks. They have these big trailers and trucks where they pull in and they create this little city for like food and gear and tools and like and all kinds of stuff. Hi, Sundart. How was your second day of school? It was good. We did a little bit of work. What are you doing there? <laughs> do you do work. that during class? No. But you I want to do it, though? <laughs> yeah, do, don't do that because you don't want to make your teachers hate you right off the bat. But every time I'm with you, that's what you're doing. That's cool, though. That's fun to have a little hobby that you like to do. Well, we did have a good lunch. Ooh, yeah, what was it? Like, I want one. A charbroiled beef char burger. Charbroiled hey. beef burger. Hey. Say that ten times. <laughs> cool. How about you, Princess Chard? How was your day? It was great. It was great? Well, your hair looks super duper cute. Thank you. And your necklace broke again, right? Yep. It did. Darn it. And my grandma your, gave it to your me. Aunt Sadie just fixed that, and then these little flowers fell off of it. Show her the flowers. Show Since them I the broke flowers. it, um, this is... That gra my grandma gave this to me, so I'm saying that this is her kindness, this is her heart, and this is her. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so we're back home and we're having our after school snack. What's your after school snack today, guys? Ants on a log. Ants on a log? Well, Ew. It's real ants? Yeah. Let me see that. Oh, yummy. Are you just going to eat the ants and not the rest of it? Eat the green stuff, too. It's part of the deliciousness. No, it is. Yes, it is. Eat it. You like it. She loves hers. Rock Tard, come eat your ants on a log. Let's see if he ate any of it. <laughs> That's the extent of his uh, eating his after school. Oh, look. There are bites out of that. <laughs> Just out of the top, though. <laughs> That's a three-year-old meal right there. Rock Tard, come and eat your ant on a log. Oh, no. What happened? Did the ship capsize? He died. Did you die? Oh man, I really liked you. <laughs> He's stuck. There he is. There he is. He's Give him mouth to mouth. He's dead. Wake him up. He's dead. He's dead. Good night. <laughs> You're so silly. You're silly. All right. Let's go see what Shay's doing. Taco night. You want to eat the tacos? That yum yum yum? Yeah. Yeah, of course it is, because Mommy Tart makes the best tacos in all the land. Oh, baby. I'm about ready to eat you up. It's a crocker. It's a taco dial. You know what I mean? From the movie, Sunny with a Chance of Meatballs, too. <laughs> this is not a brand endorsement. Taco dial supreme. Yeah, I guess we've seen that preview a few times, huh? Yeah. It looks good. Makes me hungry. I feel like I'll be really hungry when we go to that movie. What? Guess what? Ooh, mosquito butter. Mosquito butter. He goes, he goes, butter. Mosquitoes. That's my favorite part, because it reminds me of buttermilk biscuits. Butter. You guys seen, uh, seen the previews of that? What's it? Is it? What is it? Cloudy with a chance. Cloudy with a chance. I'm saying sunny with a chance. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs, too. And the, there's like a butter frog. He's like, butter. Reminds me of buttermilk biscuits. I also like um, when they're on a boat and that celery is like, the boat is sinking. Ah! No, he goes, there's a leak in the boat. Oh, yeah, and that's another name boat. for like an onion uh, is leeks. Oh. That's a leek, it's a vegetable. So there, it's like a pun because there's two uses of words there. There's a leak in the boat. Ah! <laughs> Little jokes that kids don't get that mom and dad appreciate. Okie dokie, we're headed to the airport at LAX. We're going to, uh, what is the airline? Quiris? Aquatus? Aquintus? P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney, Qantas. That's it. Just wondering. You, I was like, what? You guys, think about this. I'm gonna get on the airplane right now. You guys are gonna go home. You're gonna wake. You're gonna go to bed. You're gonna wake up. You're gonna go to school, and then you're gonna go to school. I'm still gonna be on the airplane. I don't get off the airplane until you guys are eating lunch tomorrow. <laughs> so will you guys think about me tomorrow while you're eating lunch. Yeah. While you're eating your uh, mashed potatoes and chicken, think about, oh, my daddy just got off his airplane. Ooh, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes and, chicken? and chicken? 
<laughs> is that what you're going to have for lunch tomorrow? No, oh, but we're having roast turkey, I think. Ooh, roast turkey. That sounds delightful. <laughs> well, think about my sore, numb bum that's going to have been sitting in an airplane seat for 13 hours. Huh? It's going to be a numb bum. I mean, you get numb bum on numb this bum. flight. You ever had numb bum? Do they have no. a bunch of, like, blankets? I get numb bum all the time. I hope they have blankets and pillows. That will be good. I got you. And sedatives or horse tranquilizers. <laughs> We'll see what they have. I love you. No! I love you. I'll miss you. Be good for your mom, okay? No, go Squeezes. <laughs> I want a moment of silence. Everybody, shh. Silence. Wait! Moment of silence is over. Okay, I'm gonna get out and give you guys hugs. No, no, I'm going on your back. I'm going on your back. I'm going on your back. Oh, goodness. You. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I said. Yes. I love luggage. you. Uh, yes, you well, good luck. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> no, no. Wish you have something to wear. Mm, I'm sad. I hate when Shay leaves. It's always hard because we spend a lot of time together, but every time he leaves, it's just like. <laughs> okay, they're going to kick us out of here. Your help. help your mom, okay? I love you. Yeah, help me. Okay, bye. I'm not Hey, Suntar. You're the man of the house now. Okay. You got this, alright? Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks, little helper. Great work. Thank you. The international terminal at LAX is very unique. Well, not unique, it's just different. I've been to LAX a million times, and it's like I know it like the back of my hand, but this is just, it's more diverse. A lot of different looking people. I like it. Because this is the terminal, it just flies out. There's like Qantas, which is all Australian, and then all the Asian airlines. And then just like, look at how the Asian uh, stewardesses dress up. It's like that, that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, Catch Me If You Can. It's like they dress fancy. They look gorgeous. There's like 10 of them that just came through. I like it. It's just cool seeing different people and like different faces in here. But they're still families. Look at that little guy. Oh, that makes me miss Rock Tart already. It doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. Family is universal. It's cool seeing that. I'm headed to a land down under. Six foot four and full of muscles. You know that song, right? It's an Australian song. Okay, I'm at the airport. We are headed to Sydney, Australia. I have never been there before, ever, ever in my entire life. I just want to say thank you guys. I appreciate and realize that because of you, your willingness to watch my videos and be part of this journey, that is why I am going to Sydney, Australia right now. There are people that are willing to pay to come meet me, and so then this company is willing to fly me out for free to come to this giant convention and to meet you guys. So I just want to say thank you for that. Hey guys, just vlogging. Hey, there's Amy. There's Amy. Thanks, Amy. She got me water. So here we go. We're about to get on the airplane. And I'm excited because she said that there's seats that like lie down. Yeah. I've never been. I've never been on seats. that one song. I was just singing it to him. Wanna land down under? Join me, Amy. Six foot four and full of muscle. I don't remember the words. Otherwise, I don't either. I'm just like as I go. I'm excited to see the seats on the airplane. Tell me that is. Name that band. Sky. What's the What's the app? Shazam it. You guys, how many airplanes have we been on together? And you know the rule. Every time you get on the airplane for safety, you have to touch the outside of the plane. That's a secret rule. This may be the most important outside of the plane touch we've ever in Shaytard's history. We are headed to Sydney, Australia. That's a 13-hour flight, and I better touch it multiple times. Thoroughly. Touch, touch, safe. I love you. Bring me back to my family. Oh, I don't know. Did you touch, Amy? I didn't touch. You better touch, young lady. You can get there. You go. All right. Get it. Stairs. Oh, I've never seen stairs in an airplane. It's like we're on Air Force One. This is cool. And then I rode on a giant flying steel box for 13 hours. Got to the beautiful land of Sydney, Australia have had a lovely time here, met some amazing people already, but I feel at this point it is uh, Friday night at 10.41 p.m. at this recording. I feel like I've been awake for three weeks somehow. I don't know how that's possible. 
But uh, just traveling across the world and like meeting all these new people, and it's been a crazy like jet lag, time shift, excuses, and blah blah blah. I'm gonna take a hot bath and then go to sleep, and then I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning and I'm gonna go for a run, and I'm gonna run by the Sydney Opera House. You know when like Little Nemo comes and he sees like the Sydney Opera House. I'm gonna run by that tomorrow morning. I'm really excited for that. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching our videos, commenting, thumbs upping, and being a part of this journey we call life. I love you guys, sincerely. I appreciate all that you do for us, and we hope to continue to bring you smiles, happiness, hope, and optimism. And maybe some laughs every once in a while. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Good night. I love you.